Hey, we're taking a live over here at this onion party. Tomatoes, jalapenos, and my new El Machinos. Ah, ah, yeah! As you can see, the magic's about to happen. You people to go that would normally take me, oh, I'd say an hour. It's about to go down right now. So I'm, I'm producing my smaller onions for the cut of the pico de gallo. Later, I will change my blades. Yes, I just got splattered by onion juice. Later, I'll change my blades to the fatties for some other projects I have, especially the tomatoes. Machino is the best though. Thank you so much for joining my party. So my other blade for the onions is going to be more or less for the Spanish rice. So I got a little factory going on here. I'm going to split up three ways. One for the Spanish rice. I got my garlic done already. One for the pico de gallo and then one for the cilantro onions. I like a smaller cut on the cilantro onions, which I'm doing right now. Um, oh. so tight. Um, you know, it's an all-you-can-eat restaurant here. So typically a lot of the guests will tell us, I want more, more. You know, of course we got a portion. If I got like ribeyes, I can't have four of them. I get one. Come back if you need it all. They want a little extra chicken in their Taco Tuesday. I'll try to hook them up a little bit. But you can always come back for more. More fire. So I'm going to reserve some of these onions for my Spanish rice. But most of them are going to go right here in my beautiful chomper. Oh, timer. So I just threw a whole half onion on there. I sliced it three times. But man, look at this product you get. Just amazing. So I'm gonna start doing the onions. Save these. Next I'm gonna do with the same blade. I'm gonna hit up some uh, jalapenos, which I got right here, ready to go. Some jalaps. I think that's enough onions for my Spanish rice over here. I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I typically do six onions. I'll have one more right here for good luck. Peace. Next, I'm gonna reserve. Look at that, two minutes. Dice, dice, slice. So from here, I'll reserve some of my onions for my cilantro onion mix, which I'll do fresh tomorrow. Uh, I'll keep this much for my pico de gallo. We're uh, gearing up for the holiday, so got jalapeno right in the chopper. Boom. That would only take like a minute, two minutes to hand dice. Talk about it right in there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm wearing my cut glove. Jallops, El Machino, bye-bye. So, as I continue to work the jallop party, uh, obviously this blade is great for the size of what you'd like to smack on a raw jalapeno. I can just run it up again with a handful. Boom! Double cut. Right? Double cut. Nice and small. Alright, everyone. I'm done with my um, jalapeno party. Um, I'm going to change my blade to. Uh, oh, God, that's spicy. Uh, I'm going to change my blade. Look at this blade. This blade is sick. 
small dice. Right, I'm gonna change my braid for my tomatoes. So, talk about it. Yeah! All right, we're about five minutes into this video. This normally would take me like at least a good hour to even get this far. Um, but I'm doing good. Uh, I gotta get this on nice and square. So give me a second here. As you can see, the magic happened. Uh, my machine's made in the USA, yeah, yeah. All right, nice and gentle, get it nice and square. And damn, thank you, man. All right, got it there. It's got these little spring-loaded um, nipples. That it's a little difficult to get it on, but it's for safety feature. Look at that. Now we're going to the 3 8 cut. This machine has got this thing that you just peel this off, and then you don't have to see this rubber mat, and then you don't have to clean with the toothpick inside. It was a great investment. Uh, so I'm excited, but. Even watch all this goodies I get out of here. This is all flavor that's about to drop right here. We're about six minutes into making our three items. All these goodies right there. Ooh, that's flavor. You don't want to throw away any flavor. Yeah. All right. I'll wash that in a minute. No, no one washes my machine except myself. Um, it's just my baby. And... I don't play that one. Um, now the tomato factory is about to go down. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get down on my uh, onions so I can have my Spanish rice whipped up by my partner. Uh, that helps me out on the rice. So, See ya. Here we three A's cut. Boom. Later. Boom. Boom. Talk about magic. I mean, well, I don't know about magic, but for a time saver, for what I've been dealing with the last year, it's priceless. I cried a little bit this morning, peeling the onions, but right now, Say la vie. Peace out. All right, we're coming up on a 10 minute video here. Um, hopefully I can get my tomatoes punched within 10 minutes. Let lime squeeze. Oh, look at that. Spanish rice onions. Done. I have my little care package right here for my chef in the back. Done. We're going up on the 10 minute burn. Um, I guess I'll just go back into here. Why not? For my tomatoes. Yeah. Here we go. boring so I'm gonna dummy it down here and end the video but as you can see I'm gonna get some lines squeeze up some lines and then I won't add any salt to this I'm just gonna pickle it these three items in the lines for the night and uh, tomorrow I'll add the salt and I'll add the cilantro and then I'll reserve all, all the juice 
and I'll buzz up the juice with a hello. This is my roasted garlic and roasted jalapenos for my guacamole. So the pico juice in this will get buzzed up tomorrow. And guacamole turns out really, 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 really good. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining me on this 10 minute video of making my salsa with my El Machino. Peace. Have a beautiful holiday season. The last of 2019 is on its way out the door and I got my El Machino. Woohoo! Bye bye! Oh, don't use it for carrots, no. No, nothing hard, soft.